Churches like here at the First Calvary Baptist Church in Hartford are the gateways to the larger community, which is why the state is focusing resources on churches, including mobile vaccine vans, which will be deployed in just a few weeks. There are more churches than hospitals. And so if you could imagine that there was a van in every church parking lot, if we had those type of resources, we would uh, knock this out of the park. Connecticut's faith leaders are putting boots on the ground to educate about the COVID-19 vaccine, handing out wellness kits door to door. The goal to meet people where they live. Ads on TV, pamphlets and bus shelters. It's not enough. It's amazing how people said you found me. Somebody found me. Somebody was actually there to be able to talk with me. Vaccine distrust in the African-American community is real and deep seated. I won't sit here and say I'm going to take it because I'm skeptical, too, about this vaccine. But the people in the African-American community, they have serious question about it. Many point to mistrust tied to the Tuskegee experiment. From 1932 to 1972, the federal government conducted an unethical experiment on impoverished black men who had syphilis, duping them into believing they were receiving free health care when they were only given placebo treatment. They actually basically used African-Americans as guinea pigs. It left a bad taste and the lack of education about what transpired is still leaving a bad taste. These charts show the disproportionate impact COVID deaths and infections are having on the minority community. Yet a new Pew poll shows that only 42% of African-Americans would get the COVID-19 vaccine. When you look at the efficacy in the subgroups, the efficacy for African-Americans as recently published by Pfizer was 100% and about 94.5% in the Latinx community. And so the hesitancy is real. I totally get it. But you're looking at someone who just um, was blessed enough to, to have his second vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine, on yesterday. And I would not have done that, nor would I have done it publicly if I didn't trust in the science and think it was the right thing to do. And medical experts say that anywhere between 60 and 70% of the entire population needs to take this COVID-19 vaccine in order for it to truly be effective. Coming up on the news at five, you'll hear from Marcella Nunez Smith. She's a member of the Yale School of Medicine, and she's also leading the task force on vaccine equity for President-elect Joe Biden. Reporting in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. Matt